I'm John Gist. I'm the son of Elaine and Fred Gist. They started the Wagon Wheel Ranch back in 1972. And my dad uh, began to have an interest in horses in, in those early years and ended up building the Wagon Wheel Ranch horse breeding operation. We started the Wagon Wheel Ranch breeding program in 1978. So I got a memo from my department chair, Dr. Chris Eastep, and the memo documented a phone call that he had gotten from a fellow called John Gist, and it was in regard to donation of some horses. When I called Mr. Gist back, the conversation was a little different than that, I, which I usually have with our potential donors. And, you know, he says, well, I've got some horses, and he told me, you know, a little bit of the background, and I said, well, how many horses are we talking about? And, you know, it was a three-digit number, and that took me aback. But as we went further and deeper into the conversation, and I realized the, the program that his father, Fred Gist, has, had built, and I learned more about the Wagon Wheel Breeding Program, um, I got really excited. What, what this program has done for the quarter horse world and the quarter horse uh, bloodlines, going back to when Fred Gist started it 40-some-odd years ago, is preserved certain foundation bloodlines for eternity if managed properly. So in other words, we've got it to this point where it is right now. If managed properly, there's no reason these bloodlines such as King P234 and Blue Valentine and Joe Hancock and Mr. San Pepe, to name a few, can't live on in eternity. Mr. Guest, he was really, really into the genetics. He studied it day in, day out. He had it down to a science. He was one of the pioneers, in my opinion, of educating people in the breeding world. Genetics matter, percentage, percentages of blood matter, match pair chromosomes matter, hybrid vigor matters. So when he sold horses, he gave that information along with every horse he sold. Like, for example, this colt behind us is a 56% blue valentine, one of the highest percentage stud colts in the world standing behind us right here. When we bought the little sorrel horse and uh, Fred took her over to a stump that he had by the fence and he said, hang on just a second, I'm going to go to the house. So he runs into the house and he brings out a, a notebook of the genetics of the horses and him and, him and her sit down on the stump and I'd say we were there for maybe two hours, and they were doing nothing but looking at the genetics. So she goes home, and she starts studying the genetics. <laughs> so uh, that started her liking the king bred horses, and they're, they're a type of horse you can't uh, forget. Shortly after my dad passed away in 2009, I realized I have got to do whatever I can to ensure that these bloodlines that he put together stay together so that this blood is preserved and is not scattered. So one of the things that was really interesting for me, because I'm trained as a geneticist, so when I saw this opportunity to, to uh, have this program come to Sol Ross, I got really excited because um, you know, working on preservation of a breeding program is near and dear to my heart and I think is, is really interesting to our students. And that's what this program is. It's not just a breeding program, we're making more horses. It's stewardship, it's preservation of those bloodlines uh, because once they're gone, they're gone. Dad spent a lot of money, mom and dad together spent a lot of money on the Wagon Wheel Ranch horse program, building it. They traveled the the country gathering up the horses to build the program. I had to find some way to keep the program as a whole together. And that's a tall order 
when people are having to survive various ups and downs of the economy. And if they don't share the passion that my dad had for the horses, well, it's asking a whole lot for them to keep the horses together as he intended. We've been looking for a proper steward for the preservation of the foundation blend lines of the quarter horse. Well, we are pleased and honored here at Sol Ross State University to have been selected by the Gist family uh, to uh, carry on the legacy of Fred Gist and the 40 years of amazing research that he did, the breeding program that he did, that we are in a position to carry on that legacy. The opportunity to bring the entire Wagon Wheel Ranch American Quarter Horse Herd to Sol Ross is a unique and extraordinary opportunity for our university. We think it fits perfectly in the mission of Sol Ross State University to have an equine program that would specialize in the horse that won the West, the American Quarter Horse. The net effect for the students is it's going to be the most phenomenal learning opportunity that's going to be available at any institution. Uh, we're going to take the best of both worlds, an academic world and a real life applied uh, working ranch horse uh, world and uh, give our students an experience that's unlike any other. Uh, this uh, this uh, core of uh, breeding mares and uh, horses is unlike anything else in the world and it's going to provide just a, a phenomenal, phenomenal opportunity for our students. Bringing uh, this herd, the uh, Wagon Wheel Ranch Foundation American Quarter Horse Herd to Sol Ross State University is uh, is actually a game changer in some of our academic programs here. This will enable Sol Ross to feature, do research on, conduct breeding programs, and bring folks in from across the country to that want to do research on and work with a herd of this quality. Part of this gift is a is is us confirming our responsibility to take care of that breeding program and to see it forward into perpetuity. And that's really, really unique and that's an incredible honor and an incredible responsibility that we have and that we can share with our students. If we didn't preserve this herd, the foundation bloodlines would disappear from America. I think Fred Gist had that concept 40 some odd years ago when he went around the country and he said, hey, I see certain ones of these bloodlines dying out. I'm gonna to try to round up mares and stallions and preserve that blood. And that was the beginning of what you see today. By bringing this body of horses to Sol Ross University, we're gonna preserve the American Quarter Horse by teaching people the science of horse genetics. Well, the reality is in order to bring a herd of this quality and this size to Sol Ross State University, it takes a lot of resources. Maintaining the, the health, the well-being, and conducting a breeding program and the education programs that are a part of all this is very expensive to, to do that. So part of what we are working on in collaboration with John Gist and his mom, the Gist family, essentially is a, a fundraising program that we will begin immediately. We need endowment money that will generate revenue every year going on uh, forever, as well as one-time money that will allow us to build out the infrastructure, fencing, structures, other kinds of things that are necessary in order to properly, safely, and appropriately maintain a herd of this size and this quality. There is untold potential in our program, but we have no idea the impact that this is going to have on the entire quarter horse industry. But we have an idea it's gonna be big. Our Western heritage is in danger. If these horses did not fall into the right hands, then this program could die. The legacy of this whole entire program and ranch could die. Fred Gist worked his entire life to build this bloodline. And if this bloodline is not kept intact, our children, our grandchildren, their grandchildren, they never see the day that we saw with these horses. I want to encourage our supporters to be a part of this transition to Sol Ross and to taking this breeding program and its genetics into the future. Mm -hmm.